Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. So we have got this problem in front of us and we are going to use the Lagrange's method to solve this as uh, if you will solve problems you will uh, eventually realize why we are using Lagrange's method. Now here uh, this is of the form P P this is small p plus q q equals to r that's why and uh, whenever you get this form of Lagrange's we use the Lagrange's method to solve this and we we'll first uh, try to solve this by method of grouping it says dx by p equals to dy by q dz by r. If that is sufficient, go with that. Otherwise, the extension of this is Lagrange's method of multipliers. Which says choose such value of l, m and n so that The denominator of this, which is uh, L P plus M Q plus N R, this denominator becomes 0. That means on multiplying P, Q and R with L, M and N and then adding them, you somehow get 0. Because you see, if you get 0 and if you will equate, equate to any of this, you will get an equation. Finding equation is our goal. So if we are not able to do a find equation just by integrating these. So this is one other option for us. So let's move away. Move ahead. So dy, sorry dx, x, y minus z. z minus x fine now uh, as you can see that uh, because uh, x y z all are there if you take first two and try to integrate it will be a problem so whenever problem is there so we go for multipliers so in first sight, if I see can 1 1 1 because the simplest one is 1 1 1 choosing L M and each to be equal to 1. So if I choose them to be equal to 1, can that be sufficient? So that will give me X Y minus X Z, Y Z minus X Y and Z X minus Y Z, Y Z xy and xz getting cancelled this is giving us 0 yes we can choose the first multiplier as 1 1 1 so that gives us dx dy dz sorry here it will be dz and dz right and m dy fine L D X M D Y and uh, N D Z. Fine. Now one 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 and in denominator, as you can see, what I have done. Uh, multiply to took I took the first multiply which is L multiplied that by P. So one multiplied by this. And then 1 again multiplied by second one, which is Q. 1 again multiplied by the third one. This sum is 0. That's what we wanted. Now choose any one of these. Okay, so I choose the first one. That's your choice. Solution will not change because this is anyway going to be eliminated. 
equals to dx plus dy plus dz divided by 0. So this take this 0 to the other side. So you are getting dx dz equals to 0 integrate let's take this as u also so this is the first one now the second one for the second one uh, what multiply instead of writing this 3 I am writing only 1 because anyway these are going to become uh, multiplied by 0 so dy by yz minus x I am taking this time and what multiplier I have to choose so concentrate this way going to be a bit difficult task for us to choose the second set of multipliers so as you can see x y z is being multiplied if that was not there if that was not there concentrate on this brackets y minus z z minus x and x minus y if you add them all that would become zero isn't it but the hurdle is created by this x y z which is multiplied why not remove that hurdle that means i am saying that why not take your multiplier as 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z so that that will be removed adding them will give you 0 that's it so this time choosing my multiplier as 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z and as you can see as you can see if I multiply them with 1 by x so this will become y minus z because x by x is 1 only that you can understand plus z minus x will be there y by y will get cancelled and uh, x minus y so as you can see y y gone x and x gone z and z gone so this is giving you 0 only so divided by 0 fine in examination we have a lot of time so we can uh, add an extra step to this but this is uh, the time for explanation so multiply the others give send this 0 to the other side so you are getting uh, 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy 1 by z dz equals to 0 integrate integration of 1 by x is log x so ln x plus ln y plus ln z equals to c log a plus log b plus log c property you know if log are in addition to the same base in this case i am taking the base to e you can take any other so uh, uh, so that can be clubbed together and written as log of a b c so this becomes ln x y z equals to c if you take log to that because this is nothing but log base e take log to the other side this goes something like this e goes to the base of this c if you remove log e goes to the base of this c. these are basic things of log so e power c can be taken as some other constant let's say c2 and let's mark this as b also so final uh, nail in the coffin is that we have to write the solution which is phi of u comma v equals to 0 phi of c1 comma c2 equals to 0 whatever you want to say so x plus y was plus z was first one and their product was the second one so x plus y plus z x y z equals to 0 someone will write like this phi of x plus y plus z equals to x y z or your neighbor will uh, look, write something like this 
x y z equals to x plus y plus z. So that's it. If I try to show you the smaller picture of this, yes. So, started of the problem, method of grouping, method of multiplier is there. If the method of grouping does not work, we choose multiplier. So, the first set of multiplier which I choose was L, M and N, each of them equal to 1. Then uh, simplified it, solved it, I got the first one. Then the second set of multiplier. Because I saw if I remove that x, y and z and add them, I am going to get 0. So that gave me 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z as the second set of multipliers. And the game was easy after that. So log property, you all know that log a, log b, log a b. And if log k to the base a is c then k can always be written as a powers these are basic things which you should always keep in mind so that's it from my side i also have a very very beautiful playlist on partial differential equation where i've already solved plenty of problems on this and other topics of partial differential equation do visit that and also share that with your friends thanks and have a very nice day